Thank you. Wow. This has been two exciting days. <clears throat> so once again, I'd like to welcome you to the grand opening of Venice High School's newly remodeled $3 million Super Shop 9. Although now, I think we're going to have to call it Super Duper Shop 9. I'm very proud to say that Venice High School now has the best equipped graphic communication facility west of the Mississippi River. All this would not have been possible without California State Proposition 1D. We owe an enormous amount of gratitude to former Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger and his efforts to get this proposition on the ballot, the Los Angeles Unified School District for providing the matching funds, and of course the people of the state of California for voting to pass the proposition. I would like to add that Governor Schwarzenegger has been the only Republican I have ever voted for. <laughs> when I saw him interviewed on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno, I was very impressed with his sincere desire to help our state. So let's have a round of applause for the Governor. And I just quickly like to add before I bring up the Governor, one final thought from me. If any of you have heard the rumor that print is dead, all I can say is you ain't seen nothing yet. Print is alive, and is very much alive and well at Venice High School in Super Shop 9. But now I'd like to introduce the former governor of the great state of California, Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger. Well, thank you very much, Art, for your kind words, and also school principal Mendoza, I want to thank her also for her great leadership and for both of you, Art Lindauer, great teacher, and the school principal have invited me to come here today to look at the printing shop and all the great work that's being done here in this school at Venice High. And uh, it is because I fought very hard during my administration to rebuild our schools and to elevate our education system. And so we passed in 2006 infrastructure bonds, but I made it very clear to the politicians in Sacramento that they will never sign any of the bonds if we don't also have money available for career tech education. Because I was a very strong believer always that we have to pay more attention to career tech education, to vocational training, simply because not every person is interested in going to a four-year college. So Venice High is one of those very special places. There are many in California, but Venice High is one of those special places where they get the kids ready for a four-year university and for higher education. But they also get them ready for special programs and special educational uh, uh, programs that trains the person for careers like being printers, kids also want to become chefs, computer technicians, mechanics, bricklayers. There's thousands of jobs that we need out there that this is not directly related to FOIA University. So you got to be able to offer kids both a career tech education or to go to university and study something else to be a lawyer, a doctor, and so on. So this is what Venice High does. And this is what I wanted to discover is I wanted to put more emphasis on career tech education so we don't lose that. There was a time, as Art was reminding me, there was a time when all of the schools in California had career tech education and then all of a sudden the funding dried out and something happened where all of a sudden that did not become a priority anymore for this state. But this school is a perfect example of what can be done. And when you look around here and you watch the kids learn how to print, and you watch the dedicated grown-ups and the teachers, especially Art Lindau, who has uh, done such an unbelievable job for many years to teach kids how to print, and to, then to go and to fight for this money, yeah. to fight for this money, and as he said, it took years and years and years, because that's the way it works with bureaucracy. It goes slower than in other things. But he never gave up. When people say that it's impossible, he ignored the word impossible. He says everything is possible. And he fought and he got the $1.5 million from the state. But that's not when he closed the can of worms and said, okay, it's over. That's when he really started fighting. And that's when he went 
and got local money and district money. And you now got the matching funds for an additional 1.5 million. Now you had three million dollars. And of course you can see this three million dollars right in front of you. I mean, they not only did they use that money for fixing the toilets and some of the broken down things in the school, <laughs> but they really got the best of the best equipment in printing. So they leaped forward literally 40 years, because I was here at Venice High, because I had some friends that were teaching here in the late 60s, early 70s, and I saw the equipment they had then. That's the equipment they had up until very recently. And now they jumped ahead decades, and now they have the most sophisticated equipment in the world. And of course, as he said, west of Mississippi, I think you don't have to limit yourself and forget the Mississippi completely, just say <laughs> the best equipment in the United States. Because this school had teachers that had a vision and they were passionate about children and they saw what could be done if they have the right equipment. And so this is why I'm here today. I want to thank you for inviting me and to think about the person that really has pushed for that money on a statewide level. And I wanted to be here to let you know I know who are the people that have pushed and hard and fought hard for that money. And you too, and many others, of course, that helped right along the way, uh, have done an extraordinary job. And this is what I think it's all about in this state and in this country. We got to think about our children. Our children are the future. They're the most important thing. And uh, they don't have anyone fighting for them. So it's great when you see, actually, people stepping forward and fighting for our kids. Because so many people in Sacramento always fight for what's best for the grown-ups. You know, that they have the perfect pension, and they have the perfect salary, and they have the perfect this, and the perfect working condition, and all this, which is all good. But, let's never forget our children. They are the most important thing. So, thank you to both of you for the great work. Thank you. Thank you.